This is one of the last Favrine vases made at Benton. This kind of quality comes at a high price. It will sell for about $500. In August, company officials made the painful decision to shut down the plant. Well, we've, we've had for many years the, the strategic uh, plan of being the last survivor. And uh, it's, there are so many of the companies either did not reinvest in their business uh, and so when the tough times came, they could not survive. Either they were paying too much for gas or they didn't have the resources that, that we had and others had. And I think the family businesses have lasted longer in general. Um, so that's, you know, that's part of the surviving uh, has been to work through those, those difficult times, and, and we got overextended. So it's, uh, I think, the fact that the industry has gone away, where if in the mid-Ohio Valley there was probably close to 100 over the last 100 years who have been in business doing the kinds of things that we do, uh, and down now to a couple in the state uh, who do pressed or blown colored glass, uh, and probably a half a dozen in the country, um, of which we are, I think, significantly the largest, um, that uh, you know, it's been a very difficult uh, industry. Uh, it's a kind of industry that is labor intensive, it's energy intensive, and in small amounts it's chemical intensive. So it's got all of the, uh, the issues that you would deal with uh, in terms of labor costs, health insurance costs, benefit costs, um, energy costs. Uh, and it's something that is not a necessity. Uh, it's something that people can choose to buy or not buy. Uh, and it's something that's portable. So it's directly competitive to whatever might be done, both here as well as around the world. My daughter, she collects all the baskets and stuff. She wants a different basket every year, and I collect the birds and stuff. So I came in today just to get a set of birds, and I'm also looking, considering this picture. We're finding some great deals. Yes. Some really unique things, uh, totally different that you won't find anywhere else. You can't go shopping in a catalog and find the things that you can find here. You absolutely cannot. And, uh, in fact, I may go back home and tell all my friends, you've got to drive over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is wonderful. I just hate to hear it's closing. Uh, it's sort because, of like she said, you don't want to buy something out of a catalog, and I'd rather be able to come here. And I was a school bus driver for 23 years, and I used to come in here every year with my school bus kids, too, to take the tour. Sort of the landmark of the area. Yeah. You know, it's sad to think it's that it won't be here any longer. That's... It's tragic. It's the glass industry uh, arrived in West Virginia as a result of cheap uh, natural gas. Uh, and in recent years, the, uh, the rising cost of natural gas has, has played havoc with, uh, with those companies. And, um, and certainly the, the problems of, of um, uh, shrinking markets. Uh, if you see a, uh, a and, and one of the things economists talk about is a sort of declining middle class. Uh, Fenton would have, uh, as, as all glass companies, they relied on uh, a growing middle class to, um, to sell their products. Uh, and, and then one of the, uh, the problems that all small companies are dealing with is rising health care costs. Uh, what this means for, the, for West Virginia and what this means for the country is, um, well, historians aren't very good predictors. So, uh, but I find it, it, it troubling that we're losing that manufacturing base. Uh, I find it troubling that we're losing uh, industries that have meant so much to the history and, and uh, culture of a region. Uh, West Virginia was known for glass. Uh, there were thousands of glass workers spread throughout the state. and. Uh, and the fact that you can drive around the state and see these crumbling smokestacks from old furnaces uh, and, uh, and communities that are disappearing as a result of the decline of that industry uh, has, a, has, has real repercussions for a, a sort of sustainable economic growth and development for the state. Well, the best way I can describe it, it's like losing someone in the family. Um, it has been with us. Uh, it's been a privilege to be involved with it for these years. Um, it's been a responsibility. And 
I mean, it's it's losing someone that's very special to to me, to the family, to the people who work here. I think people had a lot of pride in what they do here. Uh, they they get an appreciation from the reaction to the customer, uh, reaction of the customer uh, when they go through on tour, uh, when they interact with people that are in the shop. Uh, they get a sense of how what they do is special uh, and different. And so that's, it's, you know, losing that uh, is, you know, one of the big sadnesses in this whole process. We had a lady here earlier that really touched me and the girl sitting across from me because she was a very serious collector from Washington State and she couldn't stop crying. She doesn't want Fenton to go away. It's really going to hurt here. It's going to really, it's really going to hurt. It's just going to be a, like I'm saying, I, I hope it don't happen. But it don't look good right now. But I hope it don't happen for the other people's employees' sake. It's not just the glass itself that's being lost. The glass-making tradition is also going away. For more than 40 years, Dave Fetty has created Fenton masterpieces and trained other glass artisans. Yeah, I hate to see it die out. I hope something develops where it won't die out. It's, it's just a sad thing to see Fenton go out of business, you know. I, uh, I've been here 43 years with him and I've had a good relationship with him. It's been a, it's been a terrific, terrific place to work. Uh, Fenton's been good to me and I've been good to them. Uh, so it's just really sad to see it all happen. The question is, what could we have done to avoid it? Uh, that's part of my question, anyway. And and I think we've worked real hard uh, to make it not happen. Uh, and I think, you know, it's it's disappointing. Uh, it's part of the competition. Uh, it's part of the customer's choice um, because it really is the choice of the marketplace that is making this happen. Um, if people were to buy what we had at the price we had to sell, uh, then we wouldn't be in the situation. So you're, it's a competitive thing. The company will cease operations sometime in October, but the museum and gift shops here in Williamstown and in Flatwoods will remain open. The company hopes this will help carry on Fenton's legacy. Well, it's sad, but at the same time, uh, we have uh, preserved and protected and nurtured a great American art for a long, long time. We're proud of that. An official closing date has yet to be set. But the company says an abundance of last-minute orders will extend glassmaking operations through mid-November. Decorators and some other employees will remain on board for a few more weeks. More than 150 people will lose their jobs when the plant closes.